This simulation aims to give you a new way of thinking about unit conversions. There are a lot of different unit conversions we can do. The simulation starts with a measurement on a map. The trader wants us to convert between a distance provided in miles and a distance provided in kilometers. Right now we have the wrong conversion. We can tell this because the trader is doubting us as nicely as he can, and also the conversion equation is red in color. A conversion can be thought of as a line on a graph. The unit we are converting from is on the x-axis. The unit we are converting to is on the y-axis. The line has a slope equal to the conversion factor. In the case of a conversion of miles to kilometers, the slope is 1.61 kilometers per mile. So for every mile we travel along the x-axis, we gain 1.61 kilometers on the y-axis. Let's try another conversion. If you click on the jug, you get to convert liters to fluid ounces. As we can see, if we adjust it correctly and get the approval of the trader, the conversion is 33.8 ounces per liter. If you click on the roll of paper or the bag of rice, you get to do different types of conversions. In the case of the roll of paper, we are converting the area, which means there is a squared unit. The area is provided in square centimeters, and we have to get a result in square inches. This means we need to multiply by the conversion factor twice, once for each unit. So try playing around with different conversions, study the equation in the graph, and see if it clicks for you.